Otherwise, we'll lose our last Stegosaurus jokes. <laughs> and that one's sort of interesting. It's probably boring. Mm-hmm. So to recap by the pre re for the recording, uh, the first group of combinators looked like trilobites, and now we're looking at a bunch that look like stegosauruses. <laughs> oh, that one at the in the last column. I, I haven't seen spikes going different directions. Uh, second to the last. Which and, one? Uh, uh, two down. I haven't seen spikes going both ways before. It's probably not interesting, but I and haven't seen that, that one. Mildly interesting, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a little different than we've seen. That one is probably not interesting, but I think it's... What the heck's that? I don't know. It's a nice, weird, curvy line on the top. Near the middle, there's a weird one, I think. Near third, uh, second to the last row from the from the bottom. Yeah. Which one? This that one, one there. there. Uh huh. I don't think that one's interesting, but that one is just slightly unusual. Mm hmm. There's another one of these ones which has. Oh yeah, I like it. Well, I think we already see one like that. Mm, that's a nice one. See what we can collect for the zoo. Oh, you're not supposed to have zoos anymore. <laughs> But we could have zoos of trilobites because they're. God, uh, yeah, that's a nice one. Even though it's kind of similar to one like five or six before it, but that was just kind of interesting looking. And now we seem to be in. Sound waves. Yes. Well, <laughs> but that's... I mean, do we think that all of these are boring? As in, you know, we just don't know whether these ones are, are showing complete regularity. Right. That's an interesting one. Mm hmm That might be an explosion. Or fireworks. Oh, Explosion. It is an explosion. I don't see the scale. Uh, second column. Well, that yeah, one? that one. Mm -hmm.
One one thing I just realized we should look at is uh, which one gets to a thousand steps and has the lowest value. Because I noticed a couple of these only got up to a few hundred after a thousand steps. These are all fireworks, I think. Uh, no, these are just ones that are fast growth, but don't quite reach the limit. I should pick up one of those just because it's interesting. This is the third other uh, one. S10, SK10 selection. Okay, what did we do last time <clears throat> with our selection look? We did. To, to it, we should probably add something like um, image size 600. Yeah, hold on. Um, okay, so here. Did I manage to delete that output? Hold on one second. No. Okay. Hmm. That first one's got. Oh, that first one dies out. What the heck is that fifth one doing? I don't know, but that's sort of interesting. That's kind mm -hmm. of interesting too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so these ones that don't make it beyond, okay, that one there, oh, that is interesting. Okay, I'll just pick out the ones we care about. This one, this one, this one, 
I don't see what that one is doing. Do you? Uh, it's probably. Oh, it's, I think it's regular. Oh, that's a gear that's there. What, um, which one? The one above it that's a gear. Yes. <laughs> okay, what the heck is that one there? What the heck is that one there? I don't know. I have no idea on that one. And also the, the towers one above or above that one. That one's got weird towers, but I don't see any order to them at all. About this guy. Yeah, I've. It's. I, I like it. It's. It, I haven't seen anything like that before. It's there's some regularity to it, but I have no idea what it's what's going on. I think that one is more complicated than I. I don't see there's some regularity, but I don't really see it. And it's going down again. Right. I don't see the regularity either. And I have no idea on that one. No, that one. Mm -hmm. That one's a very complicated ruler of some sort, but is it? going to oh, stop I'm... yeah i don't know what's going to happen if, if that one keeps going that's the sydney opera house <laughs> yes i don't know what that one's going to do mm -hmm. probably regular oh look at that puppy down there oh no it's, that's an explosion i want to trust him mm -hmm. the third to the last i have no idea on we've seen ones like it before okay It uh, it might be worthwhile to just pick out ones with obvious names. No, we this, can just this, this image present. This ten cell two. Hold on. Oops, this should have been called SK ten. Just for a bit of levity in your in your blog. Weird. Okay, well now we're getting some serious puppies here. Uh-huh. I have no idea on that one. What are those two spikes doing? That's 4,000 steps. Okay, there's slightly smaller stipes in the first half. Yeah, I see it. What the heck? How about this one? Mm -hmm. I like that one. No idea what it's doing. <clears throat> In fact, honestly, for pretty much all of these, we don't know what they're doing yet. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, all right, let's just pick out the ones we think are really interesting from here. I think that one, we just have no idea about yet. That one, we need to look at long, those two, we need to look at long plots. Yeah.
And let's do a second grouping for ones we need longs on. Yeah, okay, but let's let's just look at these guys first. Oops. Let's go ten thousand steps, see what's happening. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, I think. What is that last one doing? Hmm. Rather jolly, really. Okay, this one I think has shown itself up as fairly regular. Yes, after 10,000 steps. So. The transient was almost a thousand eight hundred steps. No, the transient was more than that. It was more than two. Th it, it it didn't resolve until twenty twenty. Okay. So let's just run these. Let's try and run them for fifty thousand steps. If that works, if it can plot that. Looks like it's having trouble with that last one. Still not quite sure, except for the second one. I'm not sure what's going on with any of those. I, and that last one, are those spikes at the same level? Well, I don't know for sure. Because we may not have plot range to all. What about this one? There's a lot of weird curvy patterns in that. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Well, I think this spikery is a lot like that spikery. Mm -hmm. All right, one thing we need to do is to collect the choice specimens from here. Um, okay, let's go back. I mean, at the very least, okay, we, we've now whittled it down to a limited number of choice specimens. Mm -hmm. um, let me just go collect some. Okay, so okay, the first one is some sort of extreme ruler function. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Let me just let me just find a way. Oh gosh, this is still spinning. Okay. So. I'm just trying to assemble so that I can put nice stuff into the post. Okay. So that is a very long transient there. So I think.
and that's a long transient. Okay, now this one, we don't know what these are yet. We're going to look at these in a moment. Right. Um, okay, so hold on. This is, I just want to collect. Okay, that's our fluffy spiker. Right. And that one is this thing here. Mm -hmm. Okay, that thing there. And this is a complex ruler. Oh, you were right earlier. What? That um, lemonade to one k would would uh, would miss important ones. All of these have two k's. Yeah. Well, we should probably check for the. Even more Ks, right? When we haven't done the more Ks case. We've done up to three. We haven't done four and four and uh, you could probably just do four and five. Yeah, we probably should. Okay, so hold on. Let, let's just, I'm just picking choice ones here. Okay, so that, let me just pick the long transient one here. Um. Okay, I just want to pick off the ones that are interesting that we found earlier. Okay. Um, okay, so before we got to these, in the SK9s, what did we find? Okay, so now what were these? These are what are those? Those are S something or others. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was an SK. Now, have we talked about that elsewhere? I can't remember. How many? No, um, and that's, that's that one you've a, wanted me to analyze too. That was an SK8. I don't recall seeing that in the SK9s either. Yeah, I don't remember seeing it either. Okay, so this is a complex ruler. Okay, so this is SK8. Okay. Okay, so that's the non-halting SK8s, which I think I've already looked at. Okay, right. so the SK9s. That's kind of non-trivial. Well, this one here, what do we think about that one there? That one is a complex ruler.
Okay, so this thing here. Okay, and these other ones here weren't that exciting. Okay, right. so what about these ones here? So this is the SK9s. So now let's look at the SK9 things we picked out. Okay, so hold on. Which one is which we, we wanted to pick out these that dies out. So that one is at least fun. Mm -hmm. Oh, were these the ones we just looked at? Uh, no, I don't think so. We, we looked at them 30 minutes ago. Okay. Well, but that one looks similar to the one we got. That's an SK. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's an SK nine, but that looks very similar to the one that we got in the SK tens later on. That's true. Mm -hmm. that thing where did that come from and where is that okay these are sk10s And there are SK-10s. Okay, so these ones are part of the SK-9. Oh, I know what happened here. This is an SK-10 sampler. Oh, right, right. Mm -hmm. So you could probably just close that window. Or that block. Okay, hold on, hold on. Yes, because we also got... Okay, now what were these ones here? Ones we decided were too regular? No, I understand that, but I want to know in terms of the things we're collecting for... We, we, we picked those out of the samples um, oh, I as see. possibly interesting, and then we decided they weren't all that interesting. All right, okay. So now let's go back over here, all the way over here. And let's take a look at what we can say here. So then we're saying, I wonder how I could improve this picture. You know, actually, this picture is reasonable because it's, it's, um, okay. So I'm a little bit concerned that those two are so similar, but I think it's interesting to see that they're similar, but yet they have different asymptotic growth. Mm -hmm. I, I agree. Um, okay. So that's that case. And 
it's not obvious that's any different from the bigger. Honestly, it's not clear that that really added anything here. All right. Um, okay, so now this case here. Heck, no, absolutely not. Oh, long transient. Uh, but it's really nicely intermeshed. There's there's like all sorts of layers that are dying out, but they're in they're in waves and overlapping. I haven't seen that before. Right. Well, I wonder whether this is analyzable or whether it's got detail that isn't. Um, although, We should analyze whether it's fully regular, okay? Now, okay, so this thing here, I don't really see as being any different from this one here, but I want to see whether this one here, or is that that one there? I think it is that one there. Yeah, it's they're the same one. Okay. Okay, so here, we want this. go to like 5,000 steps. This is just freaking weird. <coughs> oh, that's, that's really not much more. So let's say we go to um, 10,000 steps. Let's try going to 50,000 steps. Okay, so here, the big question is, does it terminate? And the answer is it doesn't seem to. Uh, good question, yeah. Okay, so here, how many is this?
me. Is this this is a ten? Okay, so it's size ten. That's definitely amusing. Okay, that is our fuzzy ball. Okay, so this one looks very much like this one, doesn't it? Yeah, I'd say so. But more complicated. Yeah, but that turns into that. Right. Okay. I do think it's worth pointing out that 99% of these are boring. Sure. Okay, that does seem to have obvious regularity there. Yes. No, it's really complex, though. All less obvious what the regularity is at ten thousand steps. It's much less clear what's going on in one of these. Mm -hmm. And I think we should take a couple of these ones that look complex and try and just, you know, nail them down. Right, right. Okay, so this one here, let's just take that guy there. And let's just try running it. Um, we can downsample it probably. Uh, let's say run it, we run it for 100,000 steps, but we only look at, compute those differences, and then we take that semi, 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 uh, 100 steps, let's say. Let's just see what that's doing. By the way, I mean, its growth rate is comparatively slow. I mean, if it's 2,000 per thing. Mm -hmm. I wonder whether it's interruptible. I have a bad feeling about that. Okay, so this is that fuzzy ruler. I'm try and interrupt it. Not good. It's running inside the C++ code. It's not going to interrupt. We 
Okay, what was this? This is very much like... Okay, that's this one. This is just another ruler, right? Right, but a complicated one. The uh, governor has upgraded a mask order from mandatory to ultra mandatory. In Illinois? <laughs> no, in uh, West Virginia. It's not obvious that masks actually do any good at all. I mean, I assumed that they did, but it's not totally obvious that they do. Okay, so this guy, okay, so let's go back here. Okay, what we're gonna try to do is take a couple of these that are complicated and try and nail them, okay? Mm -hmm. So that we can see what, what, what's going on. So let's look at this guy first, okay? And we have to have, oh gosh, you know, by the time we're at 44 notebooks for something. <laughs> okay. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna, we, we need to look at the spikes which are, so we want to have the folded max, fold list. How do we do this? We just need to say fold list max onto this. And then we need to look at the split, if I'm not mistaken, of that. And then I need to look at the first of those. Okay, so this is the, okay, hold on a second. This is the, Okay, so that's the height of the peaks, right? Mm -hmm. So let's just see whether find sequence function can find anything in that. I bet it can't, but can you find something? These come in pairs, right? It looks like it. Two, one, two, two, two. Yes, after 32, they, no, after 108, they come in pairs. Differing by, by what, by eight? Yes, differing by eight. Why is find sequence function just taking forever? Okay, so this is. Um, Do differences of that. Peak max of this. Okay, so differences of peak max. Okay, well, let's go out a little bit further then. You also have to find the positions of the peaks. So let's go up 40,000 steps. I can get much more. Let's go out 100,000 steps. Okay. 
differences peak max okay so now let's look at those numbers that are here i'm just going to be cheaty here right mm -hmm. just take those numbers there and then let's take uh that two Okay. I do want to look out for that. Let's look at ratios. Yeah, I was going to suggest that. Any recurrence, perhaps? I wouldn't doubt it. And what do you know? You yep, know, there we go. Out. Okay. So what that's saying is. Okay, so this says the successive peaks, successive highest peaks have heights. So three minus two means what? That satisfy, what is that linear occurrence? That have heights, um, <laughs> I don't remember anymore. Okay. Well, here, look, look. If that's a linear occurrence, we can do a fine sequence function. It should work. Right, right. Uh, oh, I see. Okay. Okay, so that's those. So those increase by a factor of two each time. Mm -hmm. Right. Double the height each time. So now, if we say Okay, now what we're going to do is, again, a bit cheaty, but we're just going to do this anyway. Um, we're going to say position in BBS of hash mm -hmm. uh, Okay. Fold this to max onto this. I'm very confused. Try doing a um, union of BBS out of curiosity. Why? Position of BBS. Okay, let's take BBS minus 10 or something. Okay, whatever. By the way, I probably want to look at this histogram of BBS. Lots of zeros. Particularly illuminating. Okay, why didn't this work? I don't know. Hmm. 
Oh, wait a minute. Were we taking differences of... Oh, we took differences of peak max. We took oh, the... right, right, right. Mm -hmm. So how do we get back the actual peaks? Oh, just use your uh, peak max. Yeah, but how do we know? And um, oh, okay. take out the uh, every other. Right. Okay. So how many do we have there? Oh, you don't even have to do that. You can just you can just um, take everything after uh, 186 or 108, whatever that number is. Two, two, two and up. Okay. Select peak max. Um. Hash greater than 202. Okay, but then what I want to do is I want to take every other piece from here, right? I want to take, take percent, well, percent. How do I do this? I'm 210. Oh, that's, that's a big jump. So I want to take the first one through the last one in steps of two. Right. Okay, now I want to say, find sequence function. Okay. Ah, it did I respond. I want to say, into uh, position, PBS comma hash, slash at percent 186. Okay, there are positions. So let's flatten this and let's say find sequence function. Ah, oh, I see what you're doing. Oh, wow. That's kind of weird. Okay, so this is saying that um, the highest peaks occur at positions of the form. What a freaking weird formula. The highest peaks with values of form occur at positions. Highest peaks which have um, Actually, what I really want to do is to say that. Um, I love putting stuff like this in here because like, you know, how did you figure that out? Yes. Um, okay. The, um, the highest peaks so far
I don't think you need that. Yes, you do. Um, the highest peaks, the progressively highest peaks. Mm -hmm. Okay, but now the question is the rest of the ruler, what is it doing? Do we care? Well, only to know whether it's regular or not. I see. Okay. Maybe you could look at whether this one is regular. Maybe we can look at you can look at that. Okay. Let's let's um try a tally out of curiosity. Of what? Of BBS? Yes. Can we sort by last? You want to sort by last? Okay. Sort. Oh, there's some sort of regularity if minus 15 is going to occur 8,000 times. Minus 15, 8, 17, 34. Now, if you do a last on that, what does that uh, list plot look like? I don't know. Which one? This here? Yeah, that last oh, one well, you did. Why not just do histogram of BBS, comma, this, comma, uh, why is that taking any significant time? Oh, because it gets absolutely ridiculously huge. Um, I think we want to take the logs of the, see, because we've got 104,000 things. So if we just say here, that can be helpful. Yeah, not all that useful. No, but this is the, the plot range is stupid. Okay, so that's the number of occurrences of, of different things. Mm -hmm. It's not particularly regular. Yeah. Certain of I, yeah, I don't see anything. Yeah, that's really weird. Okay, that's that case. That's the first one we're looking at. Okay, second one we're looking at is this guy here, I guess. Well, that guy seems to be completely regular. Yes. Are you convinced that there's no off by ones or funny business there? Well, it's got that uh, 
two length two hundred transient at the start. Well, I understand that. I understand that. But I'm and there's some weird rippling happening. Okay, so I'm going to do the fold list of max. Okay, so that's the progressive increase, and maybe we do ratios of that. Or differences. Hmm. Oh, that's weird. Well, that makes oh oh the the first part is the transient, and then it it um well then let's go here. Um, you think if we do differences there, right? Oh, what do you know? Well, that's weird. Oh, that says the height of the maxima. Increases by three, three, two, O. Oh. Okay, so let's say, how do we find the position of the maxima? How do we find the position of where this maxes are? Um, count how many three, three, two zeros are at the end, then take that many from the previous list. Which previous list? No, because these are the maximums so far. Oh, actually, you know, no, no, no. There's a much simpler way to do it. Look, there's a much simpler way to do it. What we do is we simply take, um, when you do the splitteroo, Right, you just do length of the splits. Right. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, so now but we'll we'll need to know how many three three two zeros there are. Well, I was going to add it up up to that point because now what we do is we say accumulate that and that's giving us the positions of those mm -hmm. and then here we count in 208 um oh for goodness sake 206 can't read it Wait a minute, what the hell is going on? Percent two oh oh percent two oh five. Twenty five. Okay. So let's say percent um percent two oh seven take percent two oh seven, comma minus twenty five. And then let's just try find sequence function of that comma n. Splat. Okay. Try uh, differences on 211. Try differences again out of curiosity. Uh, there we go. So the last one was throwing us off. If you uh, take off the last turn, find sequence function might work. Yeah, it's just quadratic then. Um, oops, you have an extra zero.
There we go. Okay, so what is this telling us? That's the position after the transient of the peaks. Yeah, after the transient. The nth peak has height 3320N and occurs at position It's not quite that height. There's, it's going to be a plus a constant. Yeah. Let's find out what the constant is by looking at the height of the first one. It's that thing, right? It's the total of those. No, because those are the, oh, is it? Yeah, it could be. Or we can find the length of that and and um, the, as a track, the length of that and remove the differences part. Twenty-two. Yeah, but, but, but that's the splitterated thing. That's that's after it's been split. Oh, that's right. That that's okay. Yeah, we can do. Right. It's that thing. If I don't need to be as big as that. Sub. Twenty two. Great. And may as well do 23 as well and make sure that they differ by 3320. Oh, so we, we were off by one. There we go. So it's uh, sixteen four eighty seven. Right. The kind of number you see every day. <laughs> okay. All right, that's the comb. All right, now we've got this guy which after transient pretty obviously does something reasonable. Now we've got this guy. Which I have to say looks more regular than I would like. Let's do the, let's do our, oops. Okay, now. Here we're going to do first that. That will give us the progressive maxima. Oh, 
Oh, it is a bit messy. Not so messy, though. No, that looks interesting. Somewhat regular, actually. Right, after the 17th term, it's regular. Oh, actually, no, after 12 terms, it's regular. Okay, so that's the positions of the maxima. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's going to be fairly regular. Uh, but it takes a long time to do that. Um, Okay, what did this one look like? I don't remember what this one looked like. Oh, yes. Yeesh. Does that one look interesting without differences? Oh, let's find out. Oh, it's magnificent without differences. I wonder what this one looks like without differences then. Well, yeah, anything that, that uh, doesn't have anything going below, I think, will be somewhat uh, dull because it's just going to be going up and up. Fair enough. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> Interesting. Oh. I wonder if this one can die out. That is definitely a wow. Um, we probably should run it for longer just to make sure it's not one that dies out. Yeah.
Oh, we should downsample it, I think. That's what, maybe we can run it for 100,000 steps, but that's probably about a limit, the limit of plotting. I think this step plot is kind of asking for trouble at that size. Oh, oh my huh. gosh. Well, it just became periodic, didn't it? <laughs> what, with a period of what? Uh, 28,000 steps? Oh my god, that's so weird. Oh, well, that's what that one does. Hold on. We've never seen one that became periodic before. It doesn't think it's periodic. It doesn't think it's periodic. It just doesn't think it's periodic. Uh, it's it's actually not quite. Uh, if you look at 80,000, you see the pit right after 80,000? It's uh, flat. Now look at the previous pit. There's a spike in the previous pit. And the, the pit is slightly higher in the pit before. This is crazy shit, you know? It's just not, this is just freaking crazy. Uh, yeah, the pit is slightly lower each time. So I think there is still a chance it might die out after uh, 200,000 steps because it comes really close to the hitting zero at eight, right after 80,000. All right, let's go a little bit further. Let's just try and... Um... Let's try going to 300,000 steps. Sure. My God, that was fast. Let's take that minus 10. If you think the animal is dead. Wait, find, the, find the length of it too. See if it's 30,000 or 300,000. Oh, okay, it is. Um, take the, the last 200,000 and see what the minimum is. Well, we could just get the running min, right? After a certain height. Well, okay, let, let's say min. Okay, let, let's go from 20,000 on and let's find the running run then, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, I just want to say drop. Let's just drop. How far do we have to go here? 5,000. 5, Okay, so let's say first slash at that. Wow, 319. It's going to die out. Oh, my word. But where? I guess try it to 500,000 or a million, whatever you can manage.
Oh, it runs really fast. We're still alive. You've got to be freaking kidding me. Anyway, that only goes down to 319. It still hasn't quite died out yet. Well, but wait a minute. It only went to 319 there. That's its minimum so far. It never went below 319. Uh huh. Again. So it never went any lower than it did at a million. Mm -hmm. Let's take RR2X and let's downsample it. Okay, let's take, um, say, RR2X. Let's do 100 there. And let's say, let's step, let's line plot. Of that. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Why doesn't it have longer stretches? Oh, because at 100, because we're cutting out. See what's right. happening? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe try... Two million. You know, I have a bad feeling this might be a church numeral story where it's tetration and tetrating. See, it's not getting much bigger. Let, let's look at the running maximum. Okay. Mm hmm. not getting dramatically much bigger. Right. It looks like it reached that peak um, at step 10,000. Yeah. Well, no, it's gotten a bit bigger. Oh, I see. You, you say it doesn't get any bigger after that. Right. Strongly suggests dying out. Okay. Oh, glug, 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 glug. Let's see whether it got any smaller. <laughs> no. Might as well check to see if it got any bigger as well. It did. <laughs> this is definitely one of those the animals are always smarter than you are cases. Mm -hmm. All right, let's just look at this guy here and then let's come back and just and try and analyze um this one okay so this is it might be worth noting in your blog that this one might die out but not before 10 million steps yeah i understand okay
actually what I should do here is that 10 million steps, um, what we should do is this, we should say counts of RR2X. Mm. Oh yeah, good idea. And then, I mean, we could basically make, so, cause we know the maximum value is a hundred thousand. Right. Woof. Okay, so now we want to say, uh, well, we could go and say, what, what are we going to do here? We want to say length of CR2X, among other things. Okay, so there are 50,000 distinct values there. And I guess we can just say histogram. Let's do this. Histogram of everything below, let's say, a thousand. That's really weird. Those are the values below a thousand that occur. All sorts of oddities. Oh, so that's actually still at a fairly small scale there, 218,000. Mm -hmm. So above a million, let's find what the min of the thing above a million actually is. Ah, oh, okay. So as we, what we could look at is the min how would we compute the min if we progressively drop? Oh, I see. We just do the reverse of the fold list. Mm -hmm. Give us the, the mins the other way around. So if we say, What the heck is that? That's the running min from the end. <laughs> Wait a minute. So this is saying position in RR2X of 10. Maybe I don't want to do that reverse. And I think those are the running mins.
that's where the moment occurs close to the end but but let's um the um but it's uh it might be worthwhile to find out um where the positions of some of those are because because a lot of those it's um the function is still basically dropping down it hasn't hit anything near a minimum yet um only a couple of those values are actual interesting minimals in their area i, I imagine most of those numbers are, are clustered near the end because it's just gradually um, dropping until it gets to a pit let's do the following let's compute in a different kernel let's go ahead and compute let's go ahead and try and do the the um the longer size okay let's see whether it it limits by 10 to the 10 to the 8. Mm -hmm. Is it going to blow up my memory? No, it shouldn't do. All right, here goes. Okay, meanwhile, let's go look over here. That may be our most exotic puppy yet. Okay, all right, we got one more here, which was this one here. Let me just look at that one there. Because I don't remember what this one was. I know, that's that one. Isn't that the one we just were looking at? I think so. Uh started looking at it again without the differences. See if it's yeah, the same thing I can see. It's the same. Okay. Okay. So the thing we haven't done. Oh, maybe it's this thing here. This is a different one. And we can try that one without differences as well. That's just a spikier version of this guy, I think. I think you're right. I was about to say the same thing. How similar do the actual combinators look? Not terribly. Now, I mean, I wonder whether this one's going to die out, because I think that would be an interesting thing. This one, oh, that one we kind of think it doesn't going to die out because it always gets bigger. But let's see if this one has the same story. Okay. Okay, let's do the max test again. Oh, 
And we should also do the min test. But um, while you've got this notebook there, you should copy a few of the things you are trying and copying them over to the other notebook. Because tomorrow morning when you look at it, you're going to want that same code again. Which other notebook? Uh, the one that's running the 10 to the 8. Well, don't, don't worry about that for right now. Okay, hold on. Oh my God, look at that. That's the maxima so far. Wow. But not ridiculous. Oh, that's very regular. I wonder whether we could analyze the maximum so far of this guy. Oh yeah, we do know that that's regular as well. And so the maximum so far, the maximum so far of the other one, we can just check that should be two to the N. Right. Wait a minute. Oh, I didn't do ratios. It's not two to the end. It's a little odd. Um. Oh, I think the the spikes are slightly complicated, and so we're. Oh, I see. At least I assume that's correct. So let me show you something. Cautionary tale. Okay. I hope my computer isn't going to crash. It feels a little sluggish. If I disappear, I'll be back. Okay, see this puppy? Uh -huh. This is another com combinator thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. It takes if you give it a, a certain initial condition, it's a different combinator. You give it a length 2n initial condition, it takes 2 to the 2 to the n steps to resolve. Ah, OK. Mm -hmm. I just wonder yeah. whether that's what's going on in any of these. Like, I wonder whether this one, I wonder whether we can prove that this one doesn't terminate because the fact that its spikes go up like this, I guess that's right. If the spikes are always increasing, it can't terminate. And this is the spikes are always increasing here. Right. Presumably can't terminate. All right, so the fuzzy here, we just don't know what the heck it's doing. All right. 
it, it might be worth pointing out in this picture that uh, there are differences uh, in between the quote unquote obvious regularity. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, and I guess, uh, oh, did it that just finish? Oh, yeah, it did. All right, drum roll. I predict it's going to be 10 to the 8. Okay. Let's let's just do an analysis of this. All right. Okay, what do we what do we want to do? We want to look at um minimum I may as well drop um, the first oh million steps. Oh, my word. This thing you just needed to run. You just needed to run it a little bit longer. Well, we can do that. We could take the last element of RR8 and just run it from there. Oh, OK. That's crazy. That is the craziest thing. Oh, no, we can't do it from there. This is only sizes. There's only sizes. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my uh, Look God. at what it is for 75 as well. I predict it's going to be fairly nearby, but I might be wrong. You're right, yeah. Oh, I know you're going to be running overnight. Well, assuming it doesn't crash my machine, because um, let's take a look at this guy. Let's sample it every, OK? Let's take RR8. What else can we look at in RR8? Oh, let's look at the max maxima. Right. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'd be, I'd probably want to try dropping the first 34 million steps. Uh, where was your other maximum, the previous one? I don't know, but let's hold on a second. Um, I think this thing's going to die out. Mm -hmm.
but I want to just see it kind of, let's see whether we've got another picture here that I wanted to, yeah, that was 100,000 steps. Let me just add that picture in there. I'm going to bitmapify this picture to prevent it from burning my notebook mm -hmm. too much. Right. I wonder if there's sort of a conservation law, something we could compute about this thing. Yeah, uh, I'd like you to try um, doing the running minimal again, but dropping the first uh, 34, whatever that number is, um, dropping that many steps. I mean, um, doing the maximum after that many steps. So you, so, you, so you still, You'll still drop R8 and you'll be dropping that many, and but then doing the running maximum. Okay. So it's climbing out of that. Huh, that uh, 15657 doesn't occur again. That was in the pre, it was before this minimum. So? It's, uh, it's one less than, or one more than the, uh, Huh. The the a peak before was one less. It, so you got to one oh five six five seven, then it dropped down to this minimum, and then much later it hit one oh five five six eight one more. Okay, so let me show you something. In that previous thing, uh oh, you know what we haven't looked at is the depth of this thing. That might be revealing. Okay. Don't know how far we can get it, but because we, we can't, I don't think we can do 80,000. Um, Let's see, what is the max of our R8? You know, I feel very much like a zoologist. Mm -hmm. Like you poke this kind of bird and it, you know, shows its. Okay, so the maximum occurs at 36 million. Right? So the question is, is it going to get to another maximum? One oh five seven two three. Where was the previous maximum before that? Well, who knows? 
What was the maximum achieved over here? Look for the graph where things are going up there. 94,700. Uh, no, no, go down more. There, because you ran it for, there it is. 105,657. When, when was that achieved? It's a little bit later, yes. Okay, well, hold on, 105,657. Hmm. Okay, so it gets it grows up just a little bit. Could you look at this note in here? Because this is something I figured out for this one because it was a lot more regular. Mm -hmm. That the quantity, this quantity, with x of y goes to 2 to the x plus y. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to send that note to you in chat. Okay. Let me just look at what the heck did that just do? Oh. Let me just look at the depth here. So, what I want to do here is take this combinator. And I want to say, let's just say a thousand steps, and let's say depth of hash, hence goes to true. Oh dear, so the code is a lot slower. Wow, a lot slower. Okay, so that's its depth, which is kind of wheeling around randomly. Mm -hmm. Doesn't seem terribly, so we can get it to like 2,000 steps. I think they have gotten quite big by then. Actually, a thing that'd be much more useful now that I think about it is to display, make one of these displays.
hard to stay forever. Oh, look at that. Oh, nice. Not exactly the world's most regular picture. That's interesting. That's what it looks like at the very beginning. So hold on, let me just go down to where we're up to where we're looking at that. Um, oh, that's what I was showing here to a thousand mm -hmm. steps. Right. Okay, so what can we show? So that's to 100,000 steps, but how can we display something reasonable from the 100 million case? How can we show a sample in, that is, um, how can we like fuzz this out in a reasonable way? We could take um, Oh, running, running maxima, yeah, running max. Okay, let's try that. Let's say moving, moving average. What about moving median? Is that right? Or moving average? No, we don't want moving average. We want, we want just take blocks, right? And we want the median of a bunch of blocks. So if we take RR8 and we say, it's not moving median, we want block map, I think. Is that right? Does block map have overlaps or not? I've ever used it. Non overlapping. Okay, so I think if we say moving median mean of let's say, let's just say just for, for beginnings, take RR eight comma ten thousand comma a hundred. Okay, let's just try median instead. Oh, that's weird. Okay, so let's go by a thousand steps. Let's take the medians by a thousand steps. How big is that? Oh, look at that. What the hell does that tell us? The medians go up to all right, take a look at the picture on uh, on the other side. Um, you see that regularity there? We're basically seeing that. How how repetitive? How, how often do these things happen? In the I mean, picture, here, it's, it's every uh, every twenty every, every twenty thousand steps. No, every. 25,000. But that only goes up to 35,000. So what we want to do, okay, so if we take, here, I've got a different idea. Let's take the block map of max in, in blocks of 1,000. Let's just do blocks of 10,000 to begin with. And we can also do the min. What the hell does that show? So it shows some kind of pseudo periodicity. Right.
Okay, so what is this saying? This is the min, so this will never miss a min. So that's showing how close it gets to like dying out. Right. And straight down, you can see that where the 23 is. Down. No, no, uh, uh, before 4,000. It corresponds to 33 million. I see. So it gets really close uh, around 7,000 as well, or, or seven, 70 million. How can we plot this? and have it be more, well, I mean, one thing we could do, obviously, is to show this on a logarithmic scale that will, that will, um, well, that's quite interesting. That's quite interesting. I mean, the, the problem here is that we want to use the full scale there. Um, oh, it's sort of like another ruler function. So yeah, this is going to die out. Really? really? I think so. Um, yeah, if, if we'd run it like uh, a uh, hundred and twenty million. We we would it's the one, two, three, four. We would see the next down spike. Well, how many more down spikes does it have to have before it dies out? Oh, I don't know. But the next one is is uh, was about to come up. <laughs> Oh, but I mean, the next one will only be, why do you think it's a big down spike? Oh, because um, you have three... Oh, I see, I see, I see. You go like this, but that, that, that down spike is bigger than this down spike. Right. Mm -hmm. So you get another down spike there, but how do you know that that isn't a smaller down spike? I don't know. I think we might have to wait for the bigger down spike that comes later. <laughs> right, right. I think if anything, this is doing some kind of tetration game. So, um, yeah, I, I guess you need to do an overwrite night run and see what happens. Well, but um, oh dear, this is so crazy. I want to finish this blog post. You know, we keep on having more stuff being discovered. Okay, so hold on, let's just see. So the plot that I could give here. Well, I mean, this plot won't look any different of the minima won't look any different. If I doesn't matter that we downsampled this plot, really. Right, right. So here, what we want to do yeah, I mean, if I were to take that, let's say I were to take it to only, let's say I'm to take it to 20,000, what's it going to look like? I think it's going to look pretty much the same. Yeah. Um, Or if I go to 5,000. It's uh, worth finding out. Um, let's see, that was 33, uh, where the minimum is after dropping 50 million.
Oh, I guess that's just uh, drop 50 million RR8 yeah. men. Okay, well, let's, let's just do that. But hold on, I just, want to, I just want to draw this. So this plot, um, how do I actually compute? That's 5,000. I just want to just get this, these values there. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to say tra um, length of that is this okay so it's 20,000 so it's times 5,000 um range of 20,000 times 5,000 and then I want to say transpose of that and that's my oops Okay, that's the data that I want to get. Log plot of block minimum to that sense. It doesn't matter that's the block minimum. Okay. Why does it matter? Uh, because the uh, it, it's 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 stopping too fast. What do you mean it's stopping too far? It's not. It's going to the minimum. It's going to all the minima. Right, right. Um, but the the maxima are, are much larger. No, they're not much larger. It's a log plot. They're not much larger. Oh, that's true. That's true. No one will care anymore. And we got rid of this one here, didn't we? Okay, so the question is for this guy. Oh, let's do the drop 50 million and see what that other minimum is. You may as well find the location. Gig. I wonder whether Max is returning us as a packed array. Oh, um, see what the difference is between the 33 and the 68 you just got, and uh, that. All right, is this right? This is going. Oh, yeah, it's going to 10 to the 8. Yeah. Um, and that'll give you a good. 
guess on to where the next down spike will happen and how far you'll want to go. So again, what what are, you, what are you saying? Take the position value you just got and subtract the twenty three position twenty seven position value. So sixty eight okay. six then minus three okay, six what, five. Oh, where where is the twenty eight? Twenty seven. Okay, there it is. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You just had it. Okay. Um, and you could just redo 27. Oh, oh. that's weird. Probably toast twice. What is that tell one? I don't know, but you'll basically want What are the values to... of the running minima? That that 27, 59, where are the running minima? Well, well these are the these are the huge minima and we've only got two so far. So we're basically, 75, uh, what was the 75? We've got, so it goes down to 27. Okay, so those are the minima. So that there are these minima here. Then this minimum is at twice that value. Mm-hmm. Okay, look, we want to get these sequences of minima. Chink, 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 chink. How do we get that? Um, okay, they're the running minima up to the position of 27, right? Right. So whatever, wherever up to 27, up to that position, we want to say... Take that R R eight, comma that plus one, and then let's say fold list min um that and then split that. Then we want to say for each of those, yeah, we want the lengths and we want the values. So we want that. And then we want to say first slash at that. Mm -hmm. What the hell? Oh, well, that'll, that'll be near the start. Uh, we want to drop the first uh, million terms or so. Yes. But we're going to have to add that back in later on. Yes. Okay, so those are our running mins. Okay. 
going down to 27. So now let's drop that number of things. Oops. Get rid of that take. Okay, now we say first slash at that. Why is that taking so long? Oh, because I forgot to print the out of the results. Okay, I don't understand that. We dropped, we dropped 34 million. So we dropped up to here, right? Oh, there was a, there was a, there was a little, a little, a little um, uh, doohickey there. Right. So let's drop, whoops, let's drop to at least 40 million. Okay, so that goes down to 59. But the last few values, which are probably these three values here, right? Right. Um, take the values uh, 967 and, and less and just do the position to those. I imagine you'll find that it basically splits up 34 million into four parts. These ones here. Right. We could probably do something similar for the tail end of the one that leads to twenty seven. Right. I think that one will also have a nine hundred, yeah. Nine I think nine eighty one is the first peak in, in the second set. 901, you mean? Yes. Okay, so what are we learning from this? These are, those are very close together. Right. So we, we can ignore Yeah, the, the, that 34, I think, is an important one. Oh, weird. Um, we can we can get the ballpark of the numbers we're looking for. Uh, divide thirty four three three nine zero nine three into four parts, and do multiples. Wait, wait a minute. 
What are you saying here? You're saying flattening this. Uh, d divide uh, the 34 million number by four and round. Well, divide all of them by four. I don't understand. What no, no, just, just that one. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking we want to look at the multiples of a certain number. There's no way. This has too much fluff in it. And now the table of multiples of, of that up to 12. Yeah, we basically want to look at values near these. So uh, we could do nearest out of our positions. I don't understand this at all. Out of which positions? Out of, out of these pairs of positions? Yeah, uh -huh, yes. Okay, now what do you want to do? Um, nearest in all men's to the first value there in the, in the table. To which first value? This one here? Yeah, uh-huh. Well, I mean, we can just do nearest of all men's slash at. Yeah, at the table, yes. Okay, what do you learn from that? Do you want to know the positions of those things? Uh, no, I think these are the important positions here. Okay. Yeah, they're pretty close. The, the last one is spurious because we didn't get to 103. But that's where the next uh, spike is going to be. Well, you're saying if I say list list plot of those things, mm -hmm. that's what they look like. Yes. Yeah, but so the next spike is going to be 103. Great, but it's going to be it's going to be a downturn from this. It's going to be a spike down there. Mm -hmm. But why do you think? I mean, if there's any sequence here it's going to go down 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 you know i think you really if you could look at the, this thing here i think that'll be very useful i i think this is relevant i think this is doing some kind of countdown tetration nonsense okay i mean there's no way we can look at trees because it's eighty thousand. 80, size 80,000. I mean, this is ridiculous. Um, I'm just impressed that Max's code can handle this. Mm -hmm. Now, that table we did to 12, do that to like 20 or so, and that'll give you a ballpark figure of, of how far you want to go. For what? How far oh, to, to, to see whether it dies out. What do you mean with it? At the next spike, you mean? Right. Mm -hmm. these I are don't the, think... Go ahead. These are the positions where the, the spikes are going to be. Not the big spikes. Um, for, for, for those you want to... Mul you just want multiples of 33 or 34 million. Well, but it's the big spike that's the danger. Mm -hmm. So if it's multiples of 34 million, you're saying the third big spike will be at three times 34 million. Right. And then the next one. But, and so, so but, but, do but, multiples but, of uh, 
34, 3, 3, 9, and pick out how far you want to try going. Well, I understand. I understand that that's, but, but, but I'm saying that, that look at this thing. Okay. So it goes one down, then it comes up and it's going to go down a second time. Right. Mm -hmm. And for all we know, what happens if the next peak is shallower than these peaks, which I think it might be. Could well be, which is why we want to do as many multiples as you can manage. Well, okay, but, but I understand that, but I'm, I'm asking the question. If, look, I'm asking, assuming that one is shallower, what does that tell us about termination? If it's going to terminate. If the next four are all higher than 23, then it probably doesn't. If it's, if it's. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I think you should look at this titration thing. I think you should look at how that works because I think that that's, I mean, that makes use of some kind of conservation law. Okay. Um, all right. Let's just have a little look at what's involved in all of this. Okay. So this is. Okay, the question is, can we reach 10 to the 9? Oh, I, 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 would, uh, I would do um, the multiples of, because of, uh, we, we definitely want to try to do 104 million. We know we can get that far. Sure we do. Um, well, let's just see how big. Okay, wait a minute. What, what's the byte count of RR8? How much memory do I have? That's respectable. 96 gigabytes. So this is taking a little under one gigabyte. Let's see what memory in use is. That's not too bad. So that's about only about twice that. Okay, so I've got 96 gigabytes of RAM. And so I'm using one gigabyte here. So I could go to 10, 10 X. Yeah. Shouldn't be a problem. Um, Probably take three hours, I'm guessing. Yeah, that's fine. I'm about to go to sleep so I can work while I'm doing that. Um, okay, so let's take a look then. All right, so what I want to do, I want to quit here. Let me just check kernel memory and use over here. A gig. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and quit that kernel as well. I don't think I need that kernel just to save up, save some memory. Let's take a look. Well, what the hell? We got virtual memory, it doesn't matter. A gig here, a gig there, it's not gonna run out of memory. <laughs> um, I'm thinking old times. <laughs> right, right. Okay, let's think what we're gonna do here. So I think what we wanna do is we wanna have some analysis code that we're gonna run, because the analysis code is not gonna be fast. Um, so that downsampled analysis here that we ran there, we want to run again. So what we're going to want to run is by 10,000 downsampling of... Oh, I'd use that 8 million value. Which 8 million value? The one third of the or one fourth of the uh, the doubling value. Sorry, for what? Oh, it doesn't matter, I guess. Okay, R on nine. Ten to the nine.
Let's do a byte count of our R9. Let's do a memory in use. Uh, let's do the drum roll length of our R9. Oh, did it already finish? No. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm just I'm just preparing it. I'm going to run. Min of R9. And then I want to do position of that min, right? Okay. And then I want to do that block map. And I'm probably assuming that it survives this, then I'm going to want to save that block map out to something. So let's check the directory that I'm in. Hold on one second here. Um, uh, where the heck is it? Oh my God, not that bug again. Not the one of those, I don't understand how Windows systems could possibly work stories. Right, right. My God, that is so dopey. Uh, let's close this thing. I don't think we need that anymore. Right. Okay. Oh, for goodness freaking sake. Let's just have a go to that. That is such a, so hacky and ridiculous. Um, Okay, so now what I want to say is I want to say export to combinator slash um, halter or not dot WXF. BM, do you agree? Yes. Um, okay, is there anything else we want to compute while we're at it? After the export, do the running men again. What running men? R running men on the block map. Or just do a minimal of the block map, and that way, when you get when you see the computer in the morning, you'll know whether it died or not. Well, the minimal. Oh, you've already got that there. Never, never mind. I'll know from the length if it died. All right, and the other thing I want to do here before I quit here is I want to say now, and I want to say um, absolute timing. And I want to say now and maybe a memory in use. Please. Oh, right. you got the memory. You got it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Ready to quit? Yeah. Let's quit there. Okay. Now let's go ahead and run memory in use just for the hell of it. Um, OK. 
Okay. Don't think there's much we can do other than just run this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Humans go to sleep. Computer <laughs> goes into action. Um, yep. You right, can I'll try computing it by hand. <laughs> <laughs> right. More processing power than my brain has ever executed. I suspect. Yep. Well, um, good luck with that. Right. I'll let you know what happens. I'll contact you tomorrow and tell you what happened. Well, it's either still alive or it's dead. This here, or yeah. or the or the or the or the system uh, died. It reminds me of that thing about you know, the guy who said he's going to teach a horse to read, and he's got some king to fund him to do that, and he says, you know, it's a ten-year project to teach the horse to read, or something. No, maybe it's a longer project than that, and and either, either. He's dead. The king is dead. All the horse is dead by the period. Of, but you know, <laughs> right, yeah. right. That's um, uh, okay. All right. Very good. Well, thanks, and um, I'll let you know what happens. All right. Many thanks. Okay. All right. See Bye. you later. Bye. Bye.